Upon a time, there was a boy, an orphan without a single toy. His name was Pete. His world was gray. Until he found a friend one day. It was no normal friend he'd found. She was but the prettiest girl in town. From that day on, the summer bore adventures every single morn. Her name was Wren, so young and gay. She even had a small piano she'd play. From sharps and flats to middle C, she taught Pete to play and read. But on one fateful evening they when looking for some place to play. Pete and Wren stumbled through a door onto an abandoned asylum floor. And from the shadows, a face of white snatched poor Wren out of sight. Pete was not like Wren at all. He was timid, scared, and small. And this was his last farewell, for Pete into a coma fell. Thank <laughs> you. 
1,002, 1,003. Oh, crap. Not another interruption. I'm in the middle of jumping to a billion, Pete. I told myself I need to jump to a billion five hundred fifty. It will make me feel amazing. Um, same reason growing my hair out to 1.73 meters will make me feel like a god. My therapist asked me the same stupid questions. Mind your own business, so can I help you? Considering you're the reason everyone's parents have been missing all summer, I mean, you fainted in terror as Ren was kidnapped. So the grown-ups went to black. They haven't been back since. It's all right, buddy. Just be careful asking stupid questions. I, for one, am about to head out after I finish counting, of course. Finally awake! My heart is full. I was about to adventure out to the Spidarian sewer to look for the grown-ups. I'll admit, my tummy is that coma must have given you a serious case of retrograde amnesia. The Spidarian... Anyways, I think a grown-up might be down there. I heard him. So golly, you don't want to know what I think, my curious... If you must know, it is my belief that your girlfriend is likely dead. Oh, my heart skips a beat just thinking the dragon epilepsy hasn't been great lately, Pete. Without her medication, I'm not I'd help you find her. But I gotta go check out the Spidarian sewer first. I honestly didn't think you'd make it out of your coma, bro. It's been a while since you were awake. You really don't remember what happened? Well, I'm glad you're back. Too bad about Ren, though. I mean, apparently she was, like, kidnapped right in front of your face, bro. The kids are saying you got so scared you went into a coma. Don't worry, nobody's judging. You were just too chicken to take care of her. <laughs> Ren's nickname? We all call her the Slug. It started as the Red Wind Slugger. You know, because of her epic baseball bat. Not sure where she hit it, though.
What's up? I told you, bud. You fainted, she's gone. Well, I mean... I think she's done for. How do you not know this? You're, like, not a great boy. know that your girlfriend is like oh my heart skips a beat or epilepsy hasn't been great <laughs> Nothing. Just think. Yeah, they've been missing a while. You ever, dude? You're like Ghost White. I don't think you can handle it. No way, dude. This story isn't for kids. It's for big boy. Ah, <laughs> I'm like a zillion years older. Plus, my dad said I was his. Uh -huh. I'm locked in this cage. That's what's up. I just saw Ren. Yeah, a man carried her down into the Spiderians. Without her medication, I don't see her lasting much longer. Okay, quick. I'm getting a little claustrophobic in here. Nice attitude, really. Parkour Ninja, Gumboisa, at your... Yeah, I just saw some guy take her down into the Spiderian sewer. Oh my, tried to help, honest. But, <laughs> ah, just kidding. Um, yeah, Ren taught me how to get on these egg things. Uh, she... Yep, Ren was a parkour legend, dude. She made me these sexy magnetic gloves. It really helps me. I think she might have another pair somewhere in her house. Anyways, dude, once I figure out how to get down, meet us there if you want to help me. Face. Get over here! 
you now? Isn't it obvious, Puke? I have hypoinflammatory disorder. I inflate randomly. Give me my sewing needle, Puke Fart. My mom gave it to me for emergency poppage for just such occasion. Those little turds, the spiders, snatched it right out of my pocket and ran up a tree. What are you, stupid? Ever since your precious little wren went missing, things have gone. So hurry up. If you don't get me my sewing needle fast, the spiders are going to bite my face off. <laughs> In the tree. Is that Simeon's sewing needle? Ren's favorite. Watch out for Punky. That's me, Punky. Simeon said I should go and find him some help. But I'm too busy dancing. Do you like my dance moves? It's my birthday. I'm so proud of myself for turning another age. I'm fine. Nah, wanna hear the real reason I'm dancing? Well, a sneaky spider came up and whispered in my ear. Wanna know what he said? Dr. Smile's gonna eat your thighs. <laughs>
Neat! Welcome to my state-of-the-art research facility. This, my friend, is where I'll crack the case to the missing adults and our poor friend. There's no question science can't answer. Although I have to admit, all I have are questions. Let's examine the facts. Fact. There's a giant centipede downstairs, and she only seems to respond to smell. Fact. There's some weird man sneaking around Redwind and beyond. I eat yes, yes. All of these facts are definitely strange. Last! My mind can only fathom the rich rewards of writing my thesis to such bewildered. I should get back to work. Goodbye, Pete. Nothing a day's reading and research can handle. Preston's drawn a diagram in chalk on the roots. Scent a spider. Length, three miles. Age, one week. Properties, deaf, blind, and sleepy. It is possible, notes. Elevated heart rate occurs with Just keeps getting weirder and weirder. wrinkling face only smiled. I'm starving, and I need to eat. So I snatched your pal. The perfect treat. A snack like that is said to make your wrinkling skin look young again. She's hungry! Wow, this thing is horrifying. I have a theory. Um, never mind. 
It's a little crazy. You're gonna think I'm insane, but I th a grown up. your story. I could beat his butt. I'm sick of him trick. Maybe if I had that bat, though. Did you know that you can swing upwards with your bat? Of course you did. That's what...
that apron?
dude. I'm so good. Now that I'm thinking about it, I heard Gumboisa talk. Looks like the grown-ups are turning into... Anyways, Gumboisa mentioned finding... I hate to say it, but I think they apparently know how to sing. <laughs> Ugh, I'm glad that's over with. One down, two to go. Quick, let's go... I heard about Simeon's mom. Yeah. I'm not so sure.
a really rent of best thing ever. Anyways, Count Boisa told me if you swing your bat, show off to me and give me a thrill by swinging your... <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Something is in honor of the dead, please. Also, touching the tombstones is disrespectful and real. <laughs>